Good day, Shane Fielder here. Welcome. I'm glad to have you with me. This month, we are going to be doing something special and unique. We are going to be breaking our agreements with fear so that you can enter into an agreement with progress. Yes, we are going to break an agreement with fear so that you can enter into an agreement with progress. Shane, what on earth is that? What is an agreement with fear? What is an agreement with progress? Stay tuned because I'm going to go over that today. But now, a little disclaimer and a little warning about the video that you're about to see. The video that you're about to see will contain images, footage of exciting, exhilarating, mind-bending, mind-blowing experiences that you may have had or may want to have. These experiences, these videos, these footage may cause you to fear, get sweaty, or have some sort of other physical distress. Take caution when watching these videos because they may elicit feelings of fear, anxiety, or angst. But if you stay until the end of the video, we will show you how you can start working on these things so that when you rewatch the video again, it will be a video of exhilaration. That's our legal disclaimer. But sometimes one of the things that we forget about is the fact that we've made an agreement with fear. Now I'm not talking about the once in a while awareness building things we all have awareness of things that are scary i mean obviously if you're driving down the road and you see a bunch of orange construction pylons and signage and construction area and road work ahead it would be irresponsible to not slow down it would be irresponsible to uh, ignore the warning signs around you and then cause harm to yourself or other people unnecessarily now that's just dumb but we take other situations that we may have had experience with or we may not have it had, had experience with and we learn to fear them and we create an agreement with fear. And so today I'm gonna go through some great things and some ways that this month we're gonna work together and breaking our agreement with fear so that you can create an agreement with progress and that is what I'm most excited about for you here today. So imagine this, it's eight o'clock at night and you're kicking back, relaxing, doing whatever you want. Just one second, hello? Hi, hey, how's it going? Actually, I'm just in the middle of filming an implementers video uh, right now for some of my implementer members. Yeah, those are my clients, my awesome, uh, my dojo members and my clients, yeah. Hey, what are you doing? No way, are you serious? He bummed out on you? Oh man, too bad. Ah, and you wanna take me? Ah, huh, interesting. Come on. Flight leaves Saturday, okay, great. Okay, like, what does this trip cost? Nothing? Come on, man, nothing's for free in life. Really? Okay. Anything. Like, anything I want. Come on, are you serious? I can have anything I want. Really? Okay. Okay. I'm in. Let me just let Cheryl know. Saturday morning, see you at the airport. <laughs> awesome. You're the best. Thanks. Whoa, can you just believe that? So my friend just called me and he said, hey, I had this trip booked to a resort called the Resort of Awesome. It's an all inclusive experience resort, meaning you can do all the experiences you want for free. It's all built into the price. He had a buddy jam out on him and he called me last minute and said, hey, would you like to join us? I said, well, like, like I'm trying to get a sense what's involved. So imagine your friend calls you and says, hey, I got a last minute cancellation. I got a flight, I got a hotel room booked at the Resort of Awesome and you get to choose any experience that you want to do. Which one do you choose? All you gotta do is let the concierge know in the morning, sign up on the clipboard that you want to take on these types of experiences. So imagine yourself getting up at seven o'clock in the morning the next morning once you've landed at the Resort of Awesome and you go and you get into a suit and you go hang gliding, hang gliding or parasailing or parachuting and you're just gliding in the wind. How does that make you feel right now? How about another one? So the next morning the concierge says, guess what? Your next experience leaves tomorrow morning at eight o'clock and we're gonna shuttle you over to the little airport close by and where you'll meet your experience instructor. And you're thinking, wow, what kind of experience is this? When you get there, you see all these little planes on the runway and you're thinking, oh, what is this all about? And then some guy comes up to you and says, hey, I'm John, nice to meet you. I'm your skydiving instructor. And we're gonna parallel tandem skydive today. 
and you're just sitting there going, what? <laughs> He's like, yep, I got your suit. I have all your measurements. It's all the concierge gave it to me from the, from the hotel. We're ready to go. Let's get harnessed in, buckle up and uh, let's jump on board and let's do this. <laughs> How do you feel now? Well, if that wasn't enough, the next day, the concierge says, hey, guess what you signed up for today? We're gonna meet just out behind in the little lagoon there. There's swimming and there's some cliffs and all that stuff. Your experience instructor is waiting for you there. So you walk out there and you're all excited and they say, hey, by the way, just swim gear today. Just your swimming suit is all you need. And you go out there and your instructor, Ted, says, hey, I'm Ted. I'm your parkour cliff jumping instructor today. And we're gonna do some parkour cliff jumping just like this. How does that make you feel? Would you be jumping in with Ted? So <laughs> if things can't get any better than that, the next day the concierge says, hey, we're gonna do something a little less scary today, a little less exhilarating. There's this awesome new theme park that's opened up down the street. It is the thing that everybody wants to see. It's the attraction above all attractions. And guess what? I got VIP passes for you and your friends to go. And today you're going to experience one of the world's most greatest, latest roller coasters. Yes. <laughs> and this is how the roller coaster feels and looks to you. I can tell you that I'm not much of a roller coaster fan, but I can do the roller coasters and stuff, and I'm kind of a neutral tone when it comes to those. But the next day, the concierge at the hotel says to you, hey, guess what? Today we're gonna take it down a notch, we're gonna go to the aquarium, and we're gonna do some things at the aquarium. And when you get to the aquarium, you realize that the aquarium is the ocean, and today you're gonna be swimming with the sharks. Yes, you will be underwater with your guide and your scuba tank on and you will be swimming with the great whites. How exhilarating and awesome will that be for you? So you come back after swimming with the sharks and you're exhilarated. And now you're sitting there and you say to the concierge, hey, what can we do, um, what can we do tomorrow? And he says, well, tomorrow it looks like we're having a tornado coming through it, and so we're closing down all the activities and we're getting everyone to stay in the resort. But I got something for you storm chasing yeah he gets you set up with a storm chaser the truck pulls up they put a hat on you a harness they buckle you into the truck and next thing you know you look up at the clouds and it's it's the clouds are coming in and the sky's rolling and everything's happening and you're in the back of the truck and you guys are cruising looking for that tornado and you're chasing it how awesome is that experience you're back at the hotel, you're roasting some s'mores, you're having some drinks with some friends, you're talking about all these excursions you've been on, and guess what? <laughs> the concierge comes in and says, hey, guess what, we're not done, get a good night's rest tomorrow, tomorrow's gonna be a bumpy experience. And you're thinking, what on earth are we talking about? We're talking about whitewater rapids, we're talking about kayaking. And so the next morning you get up and you're taken down to one of the most amazing rivers that you've seen and you're got, you get in your kayak and your instructor's giving you the kayaking course and then you guys set out on the river and you spend a day on the river. How amazing would that be for you? Whew. So you get home from a week at the awesome resort. Man, can you top those experiences? How do you feel about those experiences? Did you take part in all of them? Or were there a couple that you kind of went, mm, I don't know, and you kind of hid from? Well, you don't have to take part of all the crazy kind of scary feeling stuff in life, only the things that you want to do. So now you're getting reacquainted, you're getting settled back at home with your friends and your family, you've been back at work for a bit, and things seem to be pretty awesome, and then the phone rings again. And it's the president of your local university. And the president has said to you, hey, your name has been put forward as a pillar member of the community. 
You're an outstanding member of our society. You've made some great contributions in the work that you do in your career, and you have just done some great things. And this year, you have been selected as the citizen that we want to give the commencement address to our graduating class. Now, would you accept that? Would you accept that from the president of the university and, and accept that? How fast would you accept that? Or would you run for the hills because mm -mm, not you, no, no public speaking for you, which would it be? Imagine another situation happens shortly after that and you're called into a meeting with the executive team and you walk in and there's a couple executive members and some HR people sitting at the boardroom table. They welcome you in and how are you feeling right now? How are you feeling when the president says, thanks for coming in, we need to talk about your future with the company? How's that make you feel right now? Are you feeling sweaty, palm sweaty, nervous? Well, the president goes on to say, we have been so impressed with the work that you've been doing. You've been making great progress in all the different projects you've been working on in your department and the initiatives that you've forged, that we wanna offer you a promotion two levels higher than your current uh, job classification. Two level higher promotion. Now, what are, you, what are you thinking? Do you take it? Do you accept it? Or do you say, I just need some time to think about it. And do you negotiate yourself a better deal? Which would it be for you? Would you take the job and run? Or would you come back and say, oh, it's good, but can we make the offer better? Or would you fear that for some reason, you're just not at the right time in your life to take that on, or there's a reason holding you back, what would that be? So this month, we're gonna look at these types of situations and more. We're gonna look at the situations that cause you to sweat a little. We're gonna look at the situations that maybe get your chest and your heart pumping a little more, like boom, 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 right? We're gonna look at those situations. We're gonna look at the situations that have held you back from making progress toward the things that you really, truly want. Those are the things that we're gonna work on this month, and we are going to help you break your agreement with fear. Now, Shane, you said at the beginning, what is this agreement with fear? Let me show you. Each of you, at some point, myself included, have made an agreement with fear. You and I, at some point in our life, have entered into this agreement. At some point in our life, we have made this agreement with fear, and we have signed it. Well, here's what the agreement with fear says about you. The agreement with fear says, I someone awesome, that's you, you are someone awesome, unconsciously decided on this day to enter into an agreement with fear. This means that from now on, I will not enter into activities which cause me to try new things. I will no longer see the possibilities in, in new or different experiences that my life brings to me. I agree to play it safe around doing things that will help me to grow and obtain the goals that I set forth for myself. I will play it safe because this feels better to do the minimal amount than to expand my capabilities to do something great. I will look for ways to play it safe versus looking for ways to make progress on my goals, my dreams, or my desires. I agree to spend more time wishing, hoping, or wondering about things that could happen in my life had I have taken more action. This agreement with fear can only be terminated when someone awesome can provide proof that they have entered into an agreement with progress, signed unconsciously by you. Well, here's what we're gonna do the rest of our time this month together in Implementers. We're breaking the agreement with fear and we're gonna enter into an agreement with progress because all you need is that agreement with progress to break your agreement with fear. And so the rest of this month, I'm looking forward to working with you to help you focus, lead and finish even stronger. And so we're going to get into the work of breaking those agreements with fear so you can enter into an agreement with progress. I'm super excited for you. I'm glad you're on this journey with me this month and I look forward to working with you. <laughs> I forgot one thing actually, sorry before you go. If you would like to join me this month while we do this work in our implementers group, I would be happy to have you. So all you need to do if you want to join us is send me an email to shane at samuraiinnovation.com. Shane at samuraiinnovation.com. You can reply to any of the emails that I sent you, likely the one that invited you to watch this awesome video. 
And you could just say, I'd like to do this work with you this month. How can we do that? And what I'll do is I'll give you a way that you can join us and be an implementer for a month. There's no long-term commitment. You can just join us this month. I'll send you the details. I'll make you a special deal to, to get involved with us this month. And I look forward to helping you break your agreements with fear so you can enter into an agreement with progress. I've said it before, incremental progress done imperfectly over time leads to monumental results. Let me break that down for you. It's incremental. So it's, it's a little by a little by a little versus thinking that you have to accomplish something monumental in a day or a month or a week. You don't have to climb the mountain in a whole day, but you got to put one foot in front of the other and start on the path of progress. So incremental progress done imperfectly is the second key. Doing it imperfectly is more important than trying to do a million things all perfectly and then you never get anything done. Now, when you add incremental progress, imperfection, doing it imperfectly, doing is the key word, doing it imperfectly, you will see monumental results start building up for you. And I look forward to working with you this month. So if you're interested in joining us, send me an email, Shane at Samar Innovation, hit reply to the email and say, yeah, I would love to join you on, on breaking my agreement with fear and entering it, entering into, sorry, an agreement with progress. <laughs> so I look forward to having you. I look forward to your feedback. Domo erigato. Take care.